Billions of dollars are poured into the marketing and advertising industry each year. Billboards, ads, and social media posts abound, aiming to draw more revenue and attract new customers or subscribers. On a personal level, we invest time and effort in advertising and promoting our opinions and values to our families, acquaintances, and community. There is a Jewish way to talk, to eat, to sleep, and to dress. Is there a Jewish method of marketing? In ancient times, a magnificent tree called the Asherah was worshipped by idolaters for its distinct beauty. The Gentiles would commonly plant this tree alongside their altars in order to attract more worshippers. The Torah states, You shall not plant an Asherah or any tree near the altar of God. A well-meaning Jew could mistakenly reason that planting an Asherah tree near the altar in the Holy Temple would enhance Judaism by drawing more people to serve God. However, the Torah declared that this act is against the will of God. A tree with universal appeal to idolaters is not befitting for the Holy Temple. We can be lured into thinking that a certain popular practice is needed in order to attract a crowd and enhance Jewish involvement. Our objectives may be noble, yet we must ensure that our actions are rooted in Jewish values. Going against the will of God cannot achieve the goal of attracting others to Judaism, for true beauty lies in fulfilling mitzvot and learning Torah. Living the Jewish way will ultimately enrich our lives and inspire those around us. When we maintain the Torah's standards, God will feel comfortable to dwell in the heart and home of each individual. <laughs>